Right now, a look at the Madison School District's policy following an alleged rape at a house party this weekend, prompting multiple student walkouts. Plus, one year later, an update from law enforcement into the mysterious murder at Devil's Lake State Park. And happening right now, the city of Madison, the school board there, discussing a potential name change for one of Madison's high schools. News 3 Now at 6 begins right now. Because there is a criminal investigation going on right now, the likelihood that the school district is going to be able to take much action at this point is pretty slim. Madison school officials are thanking students who walked out of class yesterday for their courage. They were supporting a young woman they claim was raped by a Madison student. In a statement to News 3 Now, district representatives say they take reports of sexual violence seriously, but did not discuss the policies they have in place to address those reports. Talil Muhadeen reached out to the state's Office of School Safety to get more insight on how schools handle reports of sexual assault. Talil? State officials are joining the district and voicing their support for students sharing their concerns, but they're also offering insight into the legal limitations schools have when addressing accusations of sexual assaults involving students. MMSD's behavior education plan makes it clear students who engage in non-consensual intercourse are automatically recommended for expulsion. But the state's director of the Office of School Safety, Kristen Devitt, says coming to that conclusion can be complicated. If there's a law enforcement investigation happening, we don't want the school to sort of uh, get in the mix and start trying to interview people because that could really affect the chain, um, not necessarily the chain, but evidence and testimony. Madison East students say they want clear answers from school officials about what the district plans to do about a Madison East student accused of raping a young woman at a house party. But the state says that information is protected by FERPA, the Family Educational Rights and Privacy Act. It's important for students to understand that the school district isn't intentionally trying to prevent them from knowing what could potentially happen in this circumstance. It's just that they, they are prevented literally by federal law. What the school can do is speak generally about policy. MMSD's policy on expulsion suggests an investigation is typically led by a school principal and can include cases that happen outside of school if a student engaged in conduct which endangered the property, health, or safety of others at school. So while police handle the criminal investigation, the school can privately investigate whether the student is a threat to his peers. Take a look at the student's behavior and determine, is there anything that we can do to mitigate the likelihood that violence will occur? The state also recommends they take student concerns seriously and connect them with the right resources. It's always important when you have someone come and report this information to you to understand how sensitive this information is, um, that it's, it's a life-changing experience. Madison East students are planning another walkout tomorrow morning. They're planning to share their demands for consent, education, staff training on sexual assault and perpetrator accountability. We'll be there and we'll have complete coverage tomorrow evening. Khalil, thank you. Let's check your certified most accurate forecast now. Chief Meteorologist Gary Canalti. Gary? Well, the day started out with clouds, but then we broke into bright sunshine and almost no clouds this afternoon. Let's take a look at the visible cloud track. You can see those morning clouds heading off to the east and that sunshine coming in. And that will give us clear skies for tonight and allow temperatures to drop off more than they have in uh, many of the recent nights. Doppler track right now, free of precipitation across the state, but we could see a shower chance already by tomorrow morning. Uh, low temperatures this morning, only in the upper 50s here in Madison. Madison 57 was the overnight low. Janesville didn't even drop that low. They dropped to 61. It was a little cooler to the north and west of La Crosse where skies cleared out. High temperatures today mainly in the upper 60s. Few places hit the 70 degree mark including Janesville at 72. Right now temperatures are mainly in the middle 60s through southern Wisconsin. But dew point temperatures are in the lower to middle 40s. So temperatures will cool off close to those numbers by early tomorrow morning. Looking for a low in Madison about 44 with clear skies for much of the night. But clouds will move in for tomorrow. There's a slight chance for a shower during the day. Those clouds keeping our high temperature down to 58 degrees but temperatures will warm up by the end of the weekend i'll tell you how mild it'll get in just a few minutes it's now been a year without an arrest in what one Sauk County detective calls the most brutal and violent attack he has seen in 30 years. An apparently random attacker killed 24-year-old John Schmutzer on Grotto's Trail at Devil's Lake State Park in Baraboo. That was October 14th, 2020. Today, authorities are sharing updates. Madeline O'Neill brings us those live now from Devil's Lake. Maddie? Well, after hundreds of tips and interviews, dozens of court orders, and about uh, eight DNA samples taken from eight people, uh, Sauk County authorities still have zero 
identified suspects. They say they're still waiting on six of those eight DNA samples back from the Wisconsin State Crime Lab with two already ruled out. Now we'll show you Grotto's trail where they say Schmutzer was killed. They say he was just there at the wrong place at the wrong time. There's also a person of interest they've dubbed the runner. Someone around six feet tall. Many witnesses saw acting strangely in that area that day. Someone authorities still haven't identified. By a probably purely technical aspect, is it a cold case? Sure. We're not going to let it go cold. We're going to continue to follow up. We're going to keep putting uh, feelers out to the public. We're going to keep pushing this investigation. Authorities believe the break in this case will either come from DNA advancements with the possibility of expanding uh, their investigation to other crime labs or someone coming forward. They're asking anyone with information to call them, confident that someone knows something about what happened here a year ago, even if it's someone acting strangely or differently around that time frame. Last year, they ask that you give them a call. Now, coming up at 10 tonight, we'll have more details on this investigation, including what comes next. Maddie, thank you. In Madison, police say their top priority right now is putting an end to an extensive crime spree on the city's west side. There have been a number of carjackings, some of them at gunpoint. Police believe all of them are being carried out by a small group of people who they say is becoming more brazen. Authorities also believe the incidents are related to a spree of property crimes during the overnight hours of October 5th when more than 40 vehicles were broken into overnight. Police say they think this group has been involved in weapons offenses in the city in recent months as well. Police are hoping to make arrests soon. The department today also putting out a list of recommendations, ideas to keep in mind to avoid becoming a victim. And we have those suggestions posted at channel3000.com and on our Channel 3000 news app. Could a Madison High School be getting a new name? Well, that is up to you. Tonight, MMSD will be taking public input on renaming James Madison Memorial High School. Brady Mallory is showing us the conversation and why it's been delayed. Brady? Well, the district set up a committee in April to look at renaming the James Madison Memorial High School. Well, here's a live look at the meeting. It just started a couple of minutes ago. Well, this conversation began because of criticism over the namesake and former president's history of owning slaves. This was supposed to happen a few weeks ago, but was delayed due to a technical glitch. There are four new name possibilities up for consideration. Darlene M. Hancock Memorial High School, Memorial High School, Val Phillips Memorial High School, and Bruce Dahman Memorial High School. The district has not said it is officially changing the name. Community input is still being gathered, so the district can make a decision on a new name if it chooses to make the change. We're streaming this on channel3000.com right now, so go there if you'd like to watch. A panel of U.S. health advisors has endorsed booster shots for Moderna's COVID-19 vaccine. The FDA panel voted unanimously today to recommend a lower dose booster shot for seniors and other high-risk groups. The same panel will discuss booster shots of Johnson & Johnson vaccine tomorrow. Final decisions are expected next week. We know there are a lot of questions about who is eligible for a booster shot. When should you get one and where can you get it? We've answered all of those questions in a special website story and you can find that on our homepage right now on channel 3000.com in western wisconsin a sparta middle school student has been suspended twice for refusing to wear a mask her parents say if she gets suspended three more times for the same issue she'll be expelled and as tyler job explains the student's parents are standing their ground we are not against the mask policy we are pro-choice. Some people don't like being told what to do. In the case of Misty and Eric Morales' daughter, they say masks are causing issues for her health and safety. She does have asthma, and it, it takes away her right as who she is um, to express who she is, her happiness, all of her emotions. The school board voted early last month to reinstate its mask mandate. A statement by Superintendent Amy Van Duren reads, in part, quote, Since then, we have worked with many families and students to discuss the options for accommodating the student and following the policy or exploring alternative options in the district for receiving an education, including virtual instruction, end quote. She's not um, the type that can learn virtually. Misty says she and her husband met with school leaders and asked them to allow their daughter to go mask free inside school buildings. According to the district, families are given a full explanation of available alternatives and are fully informed of the expectations and consequences. We did not reach 
a compromise. The Morales' daughter served her first suspension this past Monday for refusing to wear a mask at all. But Misty says some teachers are allowing students to improperly wear masks under their noses. Misty says they serve lunch detention, but in some cases are not punished at all. There does need to be some type of transparency where... Um, all students need to be taught and disciplined equally. Misty says her daughter asked school staff to wear a mask under her nose after she completed her suspension. For the most part, she will be told, pull it up, pull it up. But they also stated that if she is corrected too many times, then she will have lunch detention. Misty and Eric believe masks should be optional. We're wanting our own voices. We we need our, our school board to hear the community. But school leaders say they are listening to health experts and therefore the mask mandate will remain in place. And that was Tyler Job reporting. Misty is also running for the Sparta School Board seat and she says her daughter's suspensions were not the reason why she decided to run. Next at six, in light of the Gabby Petito case, we turn our attention to a high profile missing persons case in our area. Coming up, a mother continues her search for answers 17 years later. An update on the case of Amos Mortier just ahead. If you have high blood pressure, a cold is not just a cold. Unlike other cold medicines, Coracetin provides powerful cold relief without raising your blood pressure. Be there for life's best moments with Coracetin, now in sugar-free liquid. Add beauty and security with outdoor lighting from Menards. Find your style with over 1,000 outdoor lighting options. Patriot Lighting comes in a variety of unique styles and finishes. Enhance your curb appeal with the black finish and clear seated glass shades of the Connie Outdoor Wall Light. Pick up a two-pack of these modern farmhouse wall lights and save 11% on all outdoor Patriot Lighting now at Menards. Save big money at Menards. At U.S. Cellular, we know the local landscape, so we can help everyone stay connected for less. And less also means more, as in more choice. While the other guys may limit your options, at U.S. Cellular, you choose any phone and we make it free. That's right. Visit our store and any phone you see is free. Plus, get unlimited data for $30 a month and get the most out of our state-of-the-art network wherever you choose to go. U.S. Cellular, America's locally grown wireless. Feast your eyes on IHOP's Halloween menu. From caramel apple a la mode pancakes to Reese's Pieces pancakes and monster mummy burritos. Could you, could you stop? Sorry. This is Ford Truck Month. Time to take a ride in the all-new 2021 Ford F-150 with an available 12-inch touchscreen, an available interior work surface, and for powerful performance on demand, a class-exclusive available ProPower onboard mobile generator. These are America's best-selling trucks. This is Ford Truck Month. Inventory levels are coming back up, making Truck Month the time to get an F-150 with 0 for 72 and 1,000 retail order bonus. Welcome back. It is a story that has captured America for more than a month. Just this week, the Teton County coroner announcing 22-year-old Gabby Petito died of strangulation in Wyoming. Since her death, the primary person of interest in the case, her fiancé, Brian Laundrie, has been nowhere to be found. The Petito case serves as a reminder of the missing cases here in our area. Eric now with more on the case of Amos Mortier. Charlotte, this was back in 2013. We profiled a heartbroken mother holding a sign asking passing drivers in rural Fitchburg to help her find her son. Back then, he had been missing nine years. Now, he's been gone for 17. Tonight in a News 3 Now follow-up, we check in on the search for Amos Mortier. You know, you just cry so much. You just get tired of crying. For Margie Milutinovich, the search for her son has never ended. I will listen to anybody. I, I, there's nobody I won't turn away. I don't care what kind of info you might have. So far, nothing has panned out. Amos Mortier was just 27 when he simply vanished from his Lacey Road home in Fitchburg. He finally felt comfortable in his skin. I was so happy for him. I mean, everything was looking up. 
Leaving his beloved dog Gnosis behind, he left just a few clues as to what could have happened. Police quickly tied the disappearance to Amos's alleged involvement with local marijuana dealers and suppliers. The minute they decided, oh, this is a drug thing, then it just went boom. It went towards, you know, finding people and arresting people for pot. And missing Amos was like secondary. That's the way I felt. We've profiled the story through the years, but one constant remains. A mother searching for some answers and ways to cope. And there's only one way to do it. Like I would tell my co-workers, like, what am I going to do in therapy? I'm going to sit there and cry. I don't want to cry anymore. It just, it's exhausting. It doesn't get me anywhere. It doesn't help find Amos. After the drug investigation that followed his disappearance, several were arrested and went to prison. But none offered any ideas as to what happened to Amos Mortier. What I need is for somebody, whoever was at the house, to let me know they took Amos and this is what happened to him. That's what I need to know. I don't, you know, be anonymous. I don't, you know, I don't care. I need to know what happened to my son. Her website, findamos.com, is still there. And more than 6,000 days and nights later, she still dreams of finding her son. Those kinds of dreams that you never forget. And he gives me the look like, like, what are you doing? You know, why haven't you found me? A mother's love hope and determination never fades. Yes, you think, you know, I'm gonna get, I, I still imagine in my mind's eye, I'm gonna get that knock in the middle of the night and it's gonna be Amos outside my front door. Now, Fitchburg police have long considered this a homicide rather than a missing persons case and provided to us this update saying in part, quote, due to the lack of new leads or information, the investigation has transitioned into an inactive case. We encourage anyone with information to come forward and share it with our department. Meanwhile, Margie tells us there is still a $25,000 reward for information leading to find out what happened to Amos. Again, her website, findamos.com, still up and running if you have any information. Still ahead tonight, we are one day away from the weekend, and we'll have a sneak peek at what to expect and if any more rain is on the way. Stay with us. The ultimate sale is happening now at Ashley Home Store. Get ultimate discounts up to 50% off and get a bonus 10% off our sale prices at checkout. Plus three years interest-free financing with no minimum purchase. Only at Ashley Home Store. Attention Madison and South Central Wisconsin homeowners. The time is here to finally do something about that old, outdated bath. Mad City Baths, Wisconsin's number one remodeler, is your trusted local source for baths, tub-to-shower conversions, and walk-in tubs installed in as little as one day. Infused with microban antimicrobial protection to resist mold and mildew, backed with a lifetime warranty. It's our spooktacular savings event. Save $400 with interest-free financing for six months and a $25 Walmart gift card with estimate. But call during this program. We'll double your savings. Save $800 on a new bath or shower with 12 months interest-free financing and double it to a $50 Walmart gift card with your free in-home estimate. Plus act now and get $250 in Mad City cash towards your next home improvement project. Dial 608-729-4466. That's 608-729-4466. Seeing the joy that people feel when they share a meal with family and friends, that's why we do this. The laughter of kids around the table, the thrill of families driving through for a treat, the delight of not having to cook, and instead, letting us safely serve you. It all comes back to taking care of each other. And for that, we'll be here with your favorites and always a smile. For over 60 years, Plains Farm and Fleet's Toyland has brought joy and happiness to Midwest families. And starting this Saturday at 7 a.m. during our Toyland opening weekend, the tradition of making wishes come true continues with great deals on the hottest toys. Like Hot Wheels die-cast vehicles, 99 cents each. This Fisher-Price giant activity book, only $36.99. And get $10 off this Lego City skate park set. Plains Farm and Fleet's Toyland, where wishes come true from generation to generation. Don't miss our Toyland opening weekend starting this Saturday. The ultimate appliance sale is happening now at Furniture and Appliance Mart. Get ultimate savings on special buys and doorbusters at up to 40% off. Plus ultimate no interest financing for 12 months. Furniture and Appliance Mart inside Ashley Home Store off the Beltline and coming soon to East Springs Drive.
After getting some rain yesterday, we might have a shower tomorrow, but we're looking at mainly dry weather for much of the next 10 days. The precipitation comparison for Madison shows that for the month, we're about average right now on precipitation. Uh, 1.3 inches officially at the Dane County Regional Airport. There are parts of Dane County that got more than that. But since September 1st, we're down a little more than an inch of rain compared to normal. And since the start of the year now, we're at about two thirds, actually less than two thirds of our normal amount of precipitation. As we look at Doppler track right now, of course, with clear skies, no rain across our part of Wisconsin. And over the next 10 days, we normally should get about an inch of rain over that 10 day period. We're looking at maybe a tenth to a quarter of an inch, some areas even less than that. So that's not going to help the drought situation. We continue to see moderate drought conditions around Madison and down toward the Illinois state line with abnormally dry conditions across much of the rest of southern Wisconsin. Three things you need to know in the forecast. Look for cool weather for a couple of nights uh, because of the clearing skies and drier air. Look for low temperatures, middle 40s for tonight, but upper 30s for tomorrow night, maybe Saturday night as well. We'll see cloudy skies tomorrow, just a slight chance for a shower, and that'll keep temperatures in in the upper 50s compared to the upper 60s that we saw today. But mild weather returns by the end of the weekend, highs middle 60s by Sunday, and probably in the lower 70s by Monday. As we look at current temperatures, still in the 60s through much of Wisconsin, the northwestern part of the state has some cloud cover. Temperatures are a little bit cooler there, but you can see uh, much of the Midwest, not as warm as the last couple of days, but still above normal temperatures. Out farther to the west, though, temperatures are definitely on the cooler side. As we look at the at weather track, the jet stream is right in between the cooler air to the north and west, and the milder air to the south and east, and that's where most of the moisture is. Some of this moisture, uh, leftover moisture from what was once Hurricane Pamela that moved through Mexico. But uh, right now, most of that rain is off to the east. The next weather system not having a lot of moisture associated with it, so we're not looking for much in the way of rain tomorrow. As we look at uh, the surface weather map, high pressure is just out to the west of us. And right now, temperatures 60s in the southern part of the state, a little cooler up to the north. So for tomorrow, we're back to mostly cloudy skies, just a slight chance for a shower. High temperature at 58, so a little cooler than today. 58 on Saturday, again overnight low temperature about 39. 65 on Sunday and then up to 71 on Monday. Maybe a chance of showers middle of next week and by next weekend could see the possibility for some patchy frost with lows in the upper 30s. And coming up in sports, Portage football is doing something they haven't done since 2007. Why Shane Hack says the turnaround is all about his team's commitment. Our coach of the week is next on News 3 Now. Now, First Warm Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. If you worry about a slip or fall climbing over a high sided bathtub, then call Mad City Baths for a beautiful walk in shower installed in as little as one day. It's our spectacular savings event. And when you call during this program, we'll double your savings. Save $800 on a new bath or shower, 12 months interest free financing, and double it to a $50 Walmart gift card with your free in home estimate, plus $250 in Mad City cash towards future home improvements. Running a race is a lot like investing. It takes discipline, patience, and time. But most importantly, it takes endurance. Because in order to go the distance, you need to be prepared to get there. At the Burrish Group at UBS, we have a trusted advisor that's ready to go the extra mile with you every step of the way. Call the Burrish Group today. If you have high blood pressure, a cold is not just a cold. Unlike other cold medicines, Coracetin provides powerful cold relief without raising your blood pressure. Be there for life's best moments with Coracetin, now in sugar-free liquid. A former Badger football standout picks up the torch where his fabled mentor left off, and the challenge suits him just fine. Read Madison Magazine's October profile of new UW Athletic Director Chris McIntosh, online and on newsstands now. Congratulations to Madison Magazine for earning top industry honors for outstanding journalism and design, including the coveted prize for general excellence in the 36th Annual National City and Regional Magazine Awards. What is all this? 
We call them options. Options? Don't make me laugh. <laughs> Unbeatable selection without the drama. Two pair plus a free eye exam as low as $59.95. Tomorrow morning, it started as an April Fool's prank, and now it's on the menu for one day only. I'll tell you where you can get your Curter Burger hot and fresh. And some cooler air is on the move. We're tracking that tomorrow morning from 4.30 to 7. The Packers have had one starting quarterback since 2008. Aaron Rodgers. The same cannot be said for their opponent this Sunday with Justin Fields starting this week. The number is at 16 different QBs for the Bears and A-Rodge thought, well, he could name them all. Jay Cutler. One. Kyle Orton. Two. Rex Grossman. Three. Oh. Mitch. Four. Uh, that's about it. We'll get Gary's take on that later. <laughs> the Portage football team is having a historic season for the first time since 2007. The Warriors are going to finish the regular season with a winning record. Shane Hack credits the culture change to his team being committed to each other, a trait he hopes they take away from the game. Portage football is driven by one word, commitment. I mean, we've had guys from June, July, hitting every practice, uh, coming to everything we can do so everybody gets better. It's just pushing each other. Like, you don't want to fail your teammates, so you all want to be there, you know? That dedication helped them change the culture. We could see that coming a little bit. I, I think we had opportunities the last couple of years as well, too. But uh, like I said, I think it's uh, the theme. It's been a building process. Uh, cut. One that Shane Hack laid out a blueprint for. High point. Anytime you have a group, whether it be a business or a team, when you're able to establish that trust between one another, uh, you're able to, to build a lot. You're able to build so much more on top of that. And then that success and the winning, all that will, will, will come. And the Warriors bought in. We all can come together because we have that heart for one goal. Punch and rip. And worked hard together. It's not just congratulations, you went to the weight room. It's, it's, a, it's an ex expectation for them. Get there every day, get better. As a football player, but more importantly to hack rip, 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 rip. as a person. Trying to, to mold, you know, uh, you know, young boys and, and, into men and, and to have opportunity to be successful uh, uh, later in life. And uh, really football and rust are just kind of the tools that we're, we're trying to use to do that. Dude, come on. One. And don't forget to nominate your coach to be our next Coach of the Week. Just head to the sports page on channel3000.com and fill out a nomination form. Gary, can you do better than Rogers? Uh, you got Mike four. Clark. Mike Lennon, uh, Chase Daniels, a couple more in there. He's tried to forget all of them. <laughs> <laughs> I go back to like Jack and Cannon and Virgil Carter back in the 60s. So. <laughs> but uh, right now, live view from the WIC Sky Cam, clear skies off to the east of Madison. And you can see uh, the live view from the Platteville Queen Bee Radio Sky Cam. Looks like a beautiful sunset there. Otherwise, temperatures are mainly in the middle 60s, upper 50s to the north. And you can see dew point temperatures in the low to mid 40s. So that's about how cool temperatures will get tonight. Look for an overnight low of about 40. Cloudy skies tomorrow. Just a slight chance for a shower with a high of 58. But we're back up to 65 by Sunday, 71 on Monday. Some showers about the middle of next week. Temperature's pretty close to average. Gary, thanks. Thanks for joining us for News 3 Now at 6. Have a great evening, and we'll see you back here at 10.